In this lesson, we want to explain the type of trees and their settings. To do this, I insert a landscape and character here to better understand the size of the trees that we import. We're going to library, then vegetation and landscapes, and then trees. There are all kinds of trees here. If you hover the most over of any of them, any of them, it will be show the same tree in its three ages, the tree size. You can easily insert a tree by clicking and dragging on a scene. And trees, even if they are on slopes, they are placed directly and do not bend, as you can see. Okay, if we want to select several trees together, simply in our library, hold control and select the trees that you want. And by simply by clicking on a scene and anywhere, you can have the trees in the different sizes and different edges randomly. Very easy. And end this by right click. And going down to the library, I also want to import some fruit trees to see their different behavior in different seasons. Okay, I import some beautiful trees with uh, flower and fruit. Okay, but there is an important point in how trees are displayed. If you note that the quality of the trees is poor or the leaves and fruits and flowers are not visible or the shadow are very bad, it is because of the general setting in the software that depends on your power of your system. For changing that, go into the edit menu, then preferences, and in the quality section, as you can see, you can choose between the quality between auto, low, medium, high, and ultra. ultra. In auto mode, the software adjusts the quality according to the power of your system. For example, we change the setting to low and hit an OK. And as you can see, the everything is up. And back the preferences in the ultra for example uh, in a medium or in a for example in medium as you can see uh, maybe some fruit are display so change it change this setting as you want but this is all about display. If you hit the render, everything is right. Don't worry. This is for displaying, working system for uh, some system are poor, some system are powerful. Okay. Each time you click on a tree, its sitting appears, which is the same for every trees. As you can see in the edge, Age, you can increase or decrease the age of the trees and uh, actually the change size of the tree. For example, in this case, even the shape of the trees changes to make everything real, like a real board. You can change the age of any of these trees. In the height, this is also the height of tree that displayed. If growth is on the weather in, in the weather section, we can control the growth of tree that will we see you later. In a leaf tint, first just get a little closer to the one of the trees. And in the leaf tint section, you can change the color of leaves as you want. <coughs> And in a bark tint, you can also change the color of the tree barks. As you can see. In a season, 
section you can change the season and choose between auto, summer, autumn, winter. Auto mode means that when we change the season in a weather section, the season and all three also change. For example, set this season to summer. And the wind option is also to activate effect of wind on our leaves and trees. Now, to better understand the season, go to the uh, sitting section and the weather. As you can see, you can change the season on all software vegetation and trees in here just by uh, click and drag in this slider you can change the season to winter spring summer autumn and look at the different behavior of trees when we change the seasons some trees lose their leaves and some trees not and their seasons will be changed all together except for the tree that we manually put on summer. In a growth section, you can control the growth rates of all trees except for those trees that are off. With this option, you can make an animations and clips that will be teach you in detail in next lessons. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.